disclaimer, this video is for FL Studio audio portion only, not the actual videos. Hi everybody, this is Rux Tun, and I'm going to show you guys a little, little secret, a little, you know, trick of the trade. I have my cat Mabel here to help me. Let me just put this puss back. Anyways, so, I'm going to teach you guys how I do my tutorials and how I annoy my friends on Skype. So you guys can show off your little tips and your tricks and your stupid bit crush and auto-tune your voice live and all that stupid stuff that you want to do to piss your friends off. Or go on your favorite online game and maybe piss off an entire group of people and, you know, have them kick you out even though you weren't doing anything and somebody had stereo mix on their fucking microphone and they just kept playing stupid shitty K-pop music but you were just, you know, having a laugh, having a joke, having a giggle. And they vote to have you kicked off. So, on that note, that's a T5 on the piano roll, by the way. Here we go! So this is where you're going to need to pay attention. Because if you don't follow these directions, I can't, <laughs> I can't help you. Obviously, you got to follow the directions and get the directions correctly. So what you need to do, I already have everything routed. So I'm going to show you everything I did to get to this point. And make sure you take note of where my mouse is at, where my cursor is at, because this almighty cursor will show you all the right places to go. Now, we, have, we are all going to have different sound cards and shit like that, so you keep in mind, just please take note of what is yours so you know how to translate it. The first thing you're going to do is open up FL Studio. Go to Options, and go to Audio Settings. On your input-output device, I need you to go to FL Studio Osseo. Once you do that, open this up and make sure you have Virtual Audio Cable installed. No, I will not give you a link because I bought it. If you find it by some magical wonder, install it first before you do anything else. Then what you need to do is your input needs to be your microphone. In this case, since I have an audio interface, my Presonus, blah, 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 fucking who gives a shit box. And my microphone is plugged into that, into the USB of my laptop, which will be this, analog connector. This is what you're hearing me as. Right now, it's just set the default anyway, so it doesn't matter. But for sake of tutorial, please choose your microphone as the input. Now, make your output line one virtual audio cable. Just, just do that. It, it'll be so much easier that way. So once you do that, click on the X. And it will have it selected. After you do that, close everything. Select any mixer track. I usually just choose like 100 because they're already docked over here. And where it says input, I'm going to click on it. And you have to choose mono one. That's where your microphone is going to come in handy. So your microphone will come in through there. After you select that, and you put your really awesome effects on there to make your voice sound super nice. <clears throat> make sure on your master it says out one, out two. Now, you are not going to hear anything. Nothing at all. To hear yourself, this is where you need to have either a second audio source or you have to be okay with the fact that you will hear your voice and everything in FL Studio through your speakers. When you download Virtual Audio Cable, it comes with a program called Repeater. Right down here, Audio Repeater. What you're going to do is you're going to go to your Start menu and type in Repeater because it'll just show up right there. Don't click KS. Click on MME. Once you do that, I already have one picked up, so pretend like I clicked on it. Make sure that your line one is your wave in because that means... What, basically what's happening is, since line one is your output in FL Studio, you now need that line one to come out. So that's where this wave out comes in handy. Wave out is going to be where you hear it. So, for example, say I have my headphones plugged in, so that's what my speakers would be. Select the total buffer to 50. That's the lowest it will go. That just makes sure that there's not as much of a delay Obviously, if you don't know that, but now you do. Um, if it sounds like shit, 
obviously, you know, maybe type in like 75. Just raise it up a, a little by little until it sounds fine. After you do that, once it looks just like this, just hit start and you'll hear yourself, which means you have the ability now to like open up, you know, like I do in my video, like Harmer and... Hopefully that didn't kill your ears because I can't hear it just because I don't have my shit going out. So that's, that, that is literally how you do it. That is it. There's nothing more to it than that. Other than the fact that you should also make sure your microphone and your game or Skype or your live stream or whatever, make sure your microphone is set to line one. That will be how everyone will hear your sounds. So this is how I do my tutorials. Um, like I said, this is for the audio portion. I don't, I'm not going to tell you how I do the video part yet. I'll do that in another video. So I'll talk about how I use this in OBS and all that shit. So hope this helped. Thank you for watching. Subscribe. And I'll do more videos in the future. Bye, guys.